Hey, I'm Dave Watkins, Watkins Films. Today we're going to take a look at the new Scream Factory 4K release of the science fiction horror film Phantoms, which it is common knowledge that Ben Flick is the bomb in this, yo. Um, this was released in 1998 originally, but this is a new 4K upgrade to the film. The transfer looks very nice. A lot of this movie takes place at night. Um, the opening part of it is is daytime, and that, that part to me looks especially nice, the daytime stuff. But it is a very dark movie, but it, it doesn't get so dark that when you're watching it, you, you, you know what's going on. You can tell what's going on the way that it's lit and also the way that it's color corrected and things of that nature now that this is preserved in this 4k transfer the 4k transfer says it's a new scan from the original camera negative approved by joe chappelle chappelle this is based on a novel by dean koontz um, dean koontz if you're not familiar with him he was he's kind of a stephen king type of writer i know when i used to read stephen king in high school i started reading some dean koontz stuff as well it was kind of somewhat similar to Stephen King. It was never as popular. He only made a only a few movies and, and TV shows have been made from his material, and none of them have been very successful. Here he tells this story. It starts with a group, a, a couple of women. One's a doctor in a small town. She's bringing her sister to the town. When when she gets there, they find that everyone in the town is either missing or dead. And, and they can't get in touch with anybody on the outside. Uh, the older sister's played by Joanna Going, who I was familiar with from the Dark Shadows revival from uh, 1991. She played the protagonist, Victoria Winters, in the revival. Um, Rose McGowan is the younger sister. These two sisters, they, they start to investigate, and it, it's pretty creepy, really, especially at first. And it seems like um, in this movie, it seems like every time when it gets to a very creepy point that um, something happens. Like they're in the, in this one house they're investigating and you see some silhouettes behind them. You think something's about to really go go down. That's when it's the cops have shown up and Ben Affleck appears um, with his deputies. Ben Affleck's the sheriff. Now he, he kind of, he kind of, he is the bomb. There's no doubt about that in this movie, yo, but the, the thing is, he does seem maybe a little young for a sheriff. I, I don't know how, I mean, he is obviously, he's about 26 in this movie. He's, he's fairly young, but he does he does come off as the bomb, generally. Um, and his two deputies, one's played by Lev Shriver. And that deputy, for some reason, they make him like borderline insane. And it, <clears throat> it kind of adds some unnecessary drama to this part of the movie because it becomes, you know, the characters are concerned about whatever's going on is killing people in the town suddenly it's you got this deputy who's twitchy and he seems like borderline like like a, like a rapist at some point so but that that to me seemed very unnecessary but Lev Shriver does does a terrific job as as he typically does in this movie and it's one of his earlier roles the deputies start getting killed and right when it starts to get intense again suddenly the military shows up and it just kind of escalates from there but every time somebody shows up new you think okay now now they're going to be they're going to be helped or saved but any any type of help against this entity that has taken over that, that has killed everyone in the town is not much help now we're going to take a look at the in, the inside of this so there's a slip cover and there's the back of the slip cover it's the same same cover art there's nothing new to the cover art here there's not a reversible slip now I, i'm familiar with this poster it's kind of that that it kind of looks like the screen poster and it was kind of very popular in this time period and I don't know I kind of liked it so also starring in this film is an actor who was nominated for an Oscar eight times he never won he wasn't nominated for Phantoms but most famously Lawrence of Arabia now we're talking about Peter O'Toole and he gets top billing in Phantoms he doesn't appear on screen for about 30 something minutes into the movie but once he does he gets a lot of screen time and his character is used well now he plays a character named Timothy Flight who is an author and also a scientist and now he is summoned to this town by this this evil that that has taken over the town the name of his book is the the ancient enemy and in the book he he gets a lot right about what 
this evil is the fan that has the phantoms that is that has taken over this town and they they have absorbed apparently it's like they they said like like a tapeworm in the movie when they eat things that they absorb their knowledge and so they've eaten a lot of people in this town who have religious sensibilities and so they want they have they want him to come and write their gospel which he is they kind of summoned and their military brings him in and they're trying to they're forcing him to study them so he can understand them better and write more more about them. Now the first time I saw this movie was when it was released on DVD. I remember liking it but also being a little underwhelmed by it. I always appreciated the cast in this movie. I think the acting even from it, Joanna going and Rose McGowan Though they're not ultimately given, they're given stuff to do in the movie. But once Ben Flick shows up, he kind of becomes the main character, and he also eventually uh, is the one who does most of the fighting. Even though they're they are kind of they are also involved in it. But I do like their subdued performances in this movie, where Joanna Goen plays a doctor who's also um, the older sister who's having to take care of her sister. But her I, th I liked her facial expressions in the Dark Shadows reboot as well. Rose McGowan is the younger sister, and she has lots of questions and some philosophical ideas she wants to put out about what's going on. Ben Affleck shows up as Ben Affleck, and he is the bomb. And, of course, uh, Peter O'Toole um, does, does a lot of... Uh, he, he does it very well. He's handed a lot of exposition to give out, and he's the kind of actor who can deliver it in a way that it is believable now a couple of movies that are very similar to this are the thing and the blob both of these are better movies not to say that the phantoms sucks but these uh these movies are better to me but it but it does a good job the phantoms does and it also is it, like it has a lot of hp lovecraft influences in it but the one thing that this evil reminds me of more than anything else is the first evil in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is the main antagonist of the seventh and last season. They're able to explore it in a longer period of time on, on the show, but it's also very well done in Phantoms. And there, there are some, there's some pretty cool special effects in this movie as well. Um, anyway, so thanks for watching. I'm Dave Watkins. If you could like this video and subscribe to my page. Mm -hmm.